Greetings my viewers and subscribers, I am coming at you again with another tutorial and this one is entitled Top 10 by the Cool Ruler, the late Cool Ruler Mr. Gregory Isaac, one of the best, you know, one of the best who ever um, did it, you know what I mean? This song is very simple, this song is a very simple two card song but you know, I have a mixture, a little bit of sugar here and there, you know, some stock lines, so you know, a sweet card progression, alright, I just want to say for all those who have been supporting me, you know, and for all those who are not, you know, <laughs> I want to thank you because all those who are not is motivating me also but um yeah man i just want you folks to know that if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe now subscribe now and just so that you don't miss anything i need you i need you folks to turn that post notification on and hit the bell hit all all right hit all so whenever i post anything it will pop up you know you will be notified you will be the first to know all right but um with no further ado let's enjoy this one man cool ruler top 10 grab your guitars let's go my people so um yeah here we are and of course you can see my logic pro right here you know i built this track over you know i stepped the tempo up a little bit you know and for copyright reason i'm trying to uh, i'm just trying to do the right thing i want to be here i want to be here for you folks right um now this song as i said it's a two card song and i've i've, I've never practiced this song because it it's a two-card song, right? So I just jam and have a vibe with it. You know, I don't stick to any um, rules or anything like that. Well, of course, not too much. You know, when it comes to reggae, remember to hold it steady, right? Reggae is all about that. So um, make sure you're doing that, all right? And don't be all over the place. Cool. So um, of course, it has a killer stock line. This, of course, once you hear this, the bass line, you know, as a stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line, right? The the bass line is great, which means the suck line is is great. So um, yeah, man. So let's start with this one. We we, we are at the key. Well, so this is C sharp. Chord number one is C sharp, and chord number two is A flat, right? So um, let's make sure that my guitar is in tune here. All right, sounds like it's in tune, right? <laughs> Not sound like it is. Rule number one, always tune your guitar. Don't be like me, all right? Tune your guitar before. <laughs> now, of course, so um, here, back to um, C sharp major to A flat major, all right? So now, my guitar is clean, of course. I have a little bit of reverb. I am using my wah pedal every now and then because this is how I catch my little vibe from this song, you know. When I first played this song, it was yeah, well, it was a band that was jamming and they said, hey, come on up, grab this guitar, you know, I start playing and, you know, I know the cards and I just start playing around with it. All right, so it's a very, very laid back song. All right, even though I stepped the tempo up and all, yeah. But um, yeah, I went ahead and I built the track here in um, my Logic Pro. You know, a simple um, two-card song. So, all right. So, um, so let's get to this. If you do not know how to farm the C sharp major, uh, I'm using this one here. All right. So, you want to bar the whole fourth fret. Place the ring finger on the second, third, and fourth string of the sixth fret. And you know, when you're strumming, you're strumming from the A string down. All right. So that's on um, the A and um, the C sharp major. The A, um, the A flat major, or some people will say G sharp, 
by the whole fourth fret place that middle finger on the third string fifth fret pinky finger on the fourth string sixth fret ring finger on the fifth string sixth fret that's your a flat major or g sharp major if you want to call it that all right so it's a simple you know i use my my wah pedal to do a little bit of that you know so um also a little bit of So that's how I, I basically vibe with this song. It's nothing much, you know. So um, here's an example. Here it is. So as you can see, every now and then you can have your little slide, or you can, you know, so that's the pointer finger still there. You can, I do the upstroke with that, but I hammer on, or you can do a downstroke, but get ready to come back to, to strike the guitar like that, alright? So that's a little bit of, you know, feels and... Because you're doing the just the two cards, so you wanna have a little bit. You know what I mean? Not too much. You have you have to wait until the time is right to do that. All right. So um, that's basically it. Remember to strum. If you do not know how to strum reggae, I'm going to leave. Well, there will be a link to a video that I did and in full details how to strum reggae. All right. So go ahead and check that out. Don't miss it. Go ahead and check it out. All right. So. So that's basically it for the cards and the strumming. Right. So um, now for the everybody's favorite part the stock line i mean which means most of, bass players can watch my videos especially when because most of the time i do the stock line and the stock lines is basically the same thing all right so you know my bad That's that's the bass line. That's the stock line. You know what I mean? So to teach you folks this one, um I'm going to play it slow. I'm going to play it slow, so I wanna go. I'm starting on the um, the A string of the fourth fret. Jump up. Alright. To the sixth string, fifth fret, um fourth fret. I want you to listen. Remember to alternate your picking. All right, and remember, also, this is included in the video that I did on how to strum reggae. I also put how to do, you know, get the stock line to sound a certain way. So check that out. Go ahead and check it out. All right, so here we go. Gonna go slow, so listen and follow. Again. Then you move to... Again. All right. Remember, some most people are going to do. 
You wanna control it. And I think they use a little bit of what? Okay, so <laughs> that's all oh, very sweet, man. I mean, it's so um, amazing how you can use a two card song and you know have so so much fun. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. that's the whole song. That's everything. That's so good. Go ahead, enjoy. But please, please, please remember to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Turn that post notification on so whenever I post a new video, it will pop up on your phone screen or whatever. And you just press one press and you're in. All right, thank you for all your support. Blessed love, peace out. See you next time.